Right lads, this is Fana from Frenetic Ray and it's time for a bit of a replay because look who is on my screen right now. Look, look, it's life. And I'm just going to say what this is from. This is from the RSL Rhythmix tournament. So if you don't want spoilers from that, go ahead and tune out now. But right now we've got life. You know, so as soon as I saw there was a life replay, I had to get my hands on it. I had to cast it straight away. And oh my god, life. Yeah, this is why I love you, life. Look at this. Throwing down a temple straight away. So this is life against QXC. So we're life first QX here, and life going straight for the temple. Life is pretty much one of my favorite players. Um, probably is my favorite player right now, and obviously doing the double extract trick right here so we can get those two extra drones out. And QXC is actually going for barracks first, so he's not going to get caught out by the temple. It's going to be a reaper opening, which temple isn't that great against reaper opening. So actually, we want to look at this map as well. So we've got this, we've got this main base. It's really, really weird where we've got another base here, which is inside the main base. That's a rich geyser. So we've got two bases inside the main base. This is a really strange map. I've never seen it before. So this is my first time casting this map. I think he has to put the command center there. I'm not sure if it'll go against the barracks, so he's gonna have to move the barracks so he wants to put the command center down. And then you can mine from this base. I wonder if I think the command center makes a wall off. <laughs> That's actually a really interesting map design right there. So life's gonna come in and scout this here. He's gonna see there's a barracks, he's gonna assume that it's a Reaper. And what life is gonna do is he is going to hide it. Well, I'm what I'm going to assume, assume he's going to do is he's going to hide his lings until the Reaper moves out, and then he's going to try and sneak them in. But the thing is, what's he going to sneak them into? Like normally, when you do this against Reaper, you can sneak them in and cancel the expansion on the low ground. But this map, you're not going to be able to get the lings in at all. What's he going to do with these lings against the Reaper? So. It's going to be interesting to see what life does with this opener because against Reaper, it's not that good. So we've got QXC's Reaper running across the map right now. What is life going He's put the depot down! Why would he bring the depot down? There's no reason to bring the depot down. Now life is just going to be able to run in. He's in! Life's in the main base! Why did he bring that depot down? There's, I don't see a reason to because he's using a Reaper. The Reaper comes out the front and it can also jump down the cliff, so there's no reason at all to bring the Deeper down. Lion Life is in the main base, doing a lot of damage to the SEVs. We've got eight Lings in here. The Reaper's going to try and take care of the second Reaper coming back as well. So these Lings actually not going to be able to do that much, but still, they shouldn't have been able to get into the main base. I'm not sure what QXC's reasoning was for pulling that Depot down. We've got the Command Center coming down as well, so these are going to get back to the main base, but again... Life shouldn't be doing this much damage against the Reaper opener, but he, again, this is what happens with life every time. He does a build, it looks like he's not going to do anything with it, and then something happens. In this case, QXC pulled the depot down. There's no reason to pull the depot down, so I'm really confused as to why he did that. It's still down as well. Why isn't it bringing it up? Like, life could produce, be producing more links right now, but we've got three Reapers moving across the map. This is going to be painful for life. He's got no gas, he's got no speed, all he's got is one Queen out on the map. And three Reapers can, can eventually kill one Queen, and slow lanes can't really do anything against three Reapers. So if QXC controls these really well, then he's going to be able to take down... Actually, he's got a second Queen, I'm blind. He's going to be able to take down these Queens if he needs to. Uh, but yeah, life doing a great job of controlling the maps there. This is a really interesting map with that actually placement placement on the ramp. Definitely, definitely very unique. Um, first time I've seen it, this is called RSL Guillotine. And a QXC, not going to get too much of those Reapers. Trying to sneak one in, see what's going on. Did he see what was going on in the actual main? I think he saw there was no gas. So he's going to see there's gas in the natural now. Actually, did he see that? Let's have a look. He did see that. So he saw the gas in the natural. He knows the gas is a bit late. And he knows he's free to, you know, command center up. He's actually going for a second gas. So he might be going for some kind of hellbat drops. Um, since he's picking up that gas really early. Instead of just throwing down a third command center. And he will be going for the Hellens. These are really late. Normally the factory lands at 550. And you can start pumping the Hellions, but this is 6.57 minutes. So these Hellions are about 1.10 late due to that 10 ball opener. And yeah, he is going for the Armory. I thought you could click up there and it would zoom to it, but I guess not. He's going for the Armory, which means he's probably going to be going for Hellbat drops. Or Widow Mines. But yeah, most likely Hellbat drops in my opinion. And he'll throw those down. He's actually not going to get the Command Center here. 
I'm not sure if he understand, understood how the map worked because he definitely should have been getting that command center right there. So QXC, a bit unfamiliar with the map and Life can be picking up that third hatchery as well. Life in a pretty good situation. He's at 52 supply against 40. We've got the Hellions and Reapers at the front trying to do what damage they can. Speed is a long way off, so it's going to be a long time until Life can actually kill his units. All he can do right now is poke at them with Queens, push them back. And yeah, if you look at the minimap, this map's actually pretty small as well. Just going to keep poking these Queens. He can probably take one down. If he controls really well, he's going to move in for this queen now, getting low HP, but he moves it back. Great control by life. The lings are out. Look, the rest of the lings are in the main, actually, at the back. Um, if he pushes up, denying the creep as well. This is really, really good from QXE. Exactly what you need to be doing with these Hellions and Reapers, just pushing that creep back. And life has got zero creep spread right now. He's got this tumor up here, but it's not even outside of his main base. Creep is so important in CVT right now. He's going to try and poke him and kill this queen as well. And here comes the speed now. We've got 103 out of 110. That's going to finish up in 5 seconds. And then he's going to be able to take care of these units from QXC. And yeah, third base coming up for life. Roach is coming out as well. I didn't see the Roach come, ro uh, Roach Warren go down. Picking off these units as well with the Lings. These are the lifelings that everybody is scared of. And these units are going to get pushed back. Probably going to get killed. But they're not going to be too good against the Hellbats. They're going to be coming out right now. We've got two Hellbats. Oh, we've got four on the field already. So we can drop these Hellbats. Life didn't see those. These are going to sneak around. But we've got Roaches coming out for life. He's going to be able to put on a lot of pressure with these. He must have seen something. Because he's thrown down a spine crawler right now now and there's going to be a bit of a big roach attack coming from life he's producing a lot of roaches i don't think he's got lair yet so no roach speed out on the field double hellbat drop coming from the bottom he has got a queen in in place but one spine crawler against double hellbats isn't going to do much and here comes a drop how much damage can it do going into middle line life not pulling that's a lot of drones going down they're all on red hp now and they're going to get picked off just trying to move forward with those hellbats queens working on that medivac but the Hellbats are going to survive. I don't think these Lings will be able to kill him. He should pick up right now. If, look at the Hellbats. They just do so much damage. Picking up those two Hellbats right there. And we've got Roaches at the front of the base for QXC. These are going to be able to push in. Do heavy, heavy damage. QXC forgetting about this Medivac right now. He needs to focus on his main base. This could be the ending blow for uh, QXC. Life's Roaches moving in. There's only two Hellbats in the mix. Two Hellions. The SCV is being pulled. Lings rallying in as well. Two Hellbats at the back on the ramp there. But they get taken down straight away. And that's GG from QXC. It's not the actual words that I'm saying, as you can see on the camera. So this is actually a voiceover of my Lord of the Links episode number two. Um, and yeah, we're just.